when you are working on shortwave radio radios and this is my slug tuned shortwave radio of course a purely experimental stage anyway you need for instance a high frequency amplifier to amplify all the signals that are going in to that first antenna coil and then are amplified and here this is a com completely experimental setup you can see quite long wiring here etc etc but that doesn't uh, mean much anyway uh, the question in this video is how to know that your high frequency shortwave stage and that's here this one works and the schematic first made with a field effect resistor the BF245 and the bipolar transistor the BF199 amplification factor 140 tested that with the transistor tester that's important test your transistors test also the high frequency transistors on their amplification pin connections of the field effect transistor and here you see that coil and that coil is here in that radio circuit I published more about that coil earlier anyway the, uh, we have here an inner antenna one to four meters and directly connected to the top of the coil that's not an ideal situation because such a 40 meter long wire indoor antenna can give damping on the coil and uh, uh, can in a kind of way distort the properties but anyway it's only a demonstration here uh, about how to know that your high frequency circuit works uh, that's a reason why I have decoupled here the tuning capacitor so we have only here a coil anyway so what is visible that's important here we have that high frequency amplifier here we have the tuning coil and I, ha I have connected now the scope the oscilloscope directly here to the output capacitor of the high frequency transistor that's here so let's see what is visible on the scope here you see what is visible on the scope <coughs> sorry uh, that is noise kind of noise but of course all that noise is received here and noise can mean uh, real radio stations they are in that noise strange to say but that's uh, more or less what happens when you look at radio stations that are not detected when a radio station is detected in an AM way amplitude modulated way or a 
FM wave frequency modulated or CW or SSB. Uh, that will give a completely other uh, view on the oscilloscope. But of course in that case you need detectors. And this circuit has no detectors at all. It's only high frequency amplification. So, uh, let's tune up here the potentiometer that gives the field effect transistor more voltage. And it directly means here that we see an enormous amplification of the noise. And that's good. It shows that your radio station is active. Noise is good in that situation. Turn the potentiometer back, etc. etc. And also we have here a kind of noise level. And let's see what happens when we tune this potentiometer, 1K, the 1K potentiometer of the uh, BF199. And that means that that uh, transistor also <coughs> has to start amplifying. I have to find a, say, a screwdriver to drive that first potentiometer up. But anyway, perhaps this will help. Here I tune back that potentiometer of the second transistor, the high frequency transistor. And you can see that here in that final stage that has a that has an effect. Now the BF199 is amplifying at its most and now also at its most and now much less. So there is a kind of working together between these uh, two transistors. One field effect transistor and the other is the bipolar BF199. Perhaps I have to adapt that circuit somewhat more to get more amplification out of it, but this already works and I'm absolutely sure that this is enough for many radio applications, shortwave radio applications, when this signal is going to a detector circuit, etc. The overview high frequency amplifier, tuning coil, slug tuning here inside, and this is the field effect transistor here, and this is the BF199. I hope it was useful. It's only a first experiment, though I have experimented out this circuit many, many times, more than 10 times, etc. So uh, I'm al almost sure this will go give a good insight when you test a high frequency amplifier <coughs> on shortwave between say 10 and sorry between 2 and 10 megahertz